Hey guys, so I am leaving work right now and I felt that now would be the perfect opportunity to do the next video that I wanted to do in this series and that is what I do all day as a junior software engineer. So I, um, in particular, work at a biotech company. So I work in a laboratory and I essentially help to um, work with building out web apps for scientists and the people that um, work with like specimens and samples and things like that. Um, this is a little awkward because people are around me so let's let's see. Um, I will talk more once I get in my car but um, I also want to do on a video on how I was able to manifest all the things I've been able to manifest including my dream job so give me one second sorry for the uh, uh, awkwardness let me know if you guys have any more videos that you would like me to film because um, I'm back on YouTube and I'm really excited about that okay so I'm in my car so, okay, what do I do all day as a junior software engineer at a biotech company? So, essentially, I come in um, normally around like 8 to 9 a.m. Um, the hours are not strict at all. Um, when I asked my boss what were the hours that he wanted me to work, he said, I don't care as long as you get your... your I don't care if you get in at 9 and leave at 3 or whatever. Like, just get your job done. I don't care. So that's um, a huge perk of in the tech industry is that it's normally super duper laid back in that way. So um, I absolutely love that. But I'll normally get in around like 8 or 9. I will set my little desk up. Um, we do get three screens, which is really nice um, off the bat. Some people have like five screens, um, but you know, I'm not that extra. <laughs> um, let's see, so I get in, I get my water, I sit down, and typically every day, every day before I leave, I set up my list of things that I wanna work on for the next day, and that's just my way of making sure that I'm coming with, in with a clear mind. I understand my expectations and exactly what I have going going on so that things just don't clutter as much in my head. Like I know exactly what I should work on and how much time I should be spending on what. So um, that's sort of my process with that and that's actually a really good tip. I'm clicking out of the lot right now. Um, so come in, I check my emails. We also have like a group message thing with a whole bunch of different group, um, group, um, groups like this team and this team and that team. And so um, I'll check my messages, look at what everyone's talking about. You know, we're developers, we're funny, we're quirky, we're nerdy. So it's a lot of funny stuff that happens. Um, it's not just work related. We talk about everything and joke about everything. So that's really cool. Um, after that, I then look at my little notepad that, of the list of things that I want to work on. And so um, I typically break my days up into before lunch and after lunch. And then after lunch, it's broken up into before our stand-up meeting and after our stand-up meeting. So at my company, we use the Agile system, which it's Agile, is, it's a way of how to tackle work. And essentially, we have a stand-up meeting every day and go over um, updates for the things that we've been working on and the things that we plan to work on so it's just like a 15 minute meeting the whole idea with us standing up during the meeting is so that it doesn't last long and so each team meets and we stand up in a little huddle and we say okay we worked on this today and here's the blocker if we have any blockers or this is what we plan to um, uh, change or uh, this is what we plan to work on for the rest of the afternoon and tomorrow and I really like it because it holds everyone accountable especially in such like a solitary job 
um, it's really cool that you know we have that that accountability that um, with doing that hold on one sec okay all right um so I am on the legacy team and I am on the brand new app team which I can't I don't know how much information I can dis disclose because I do work at a laboratory and it's you have to be really careful but anyway I, I'm basically working on the legacy team the legacy team essentially is um, all of the old web apps so the ones from the 90s like the really archaic ones and typically with those it's just patching up a lot of different things patching up fixing bugs um, upgrading things here and there um, we get help tickets from the scientists that'll say okay you know we want this to be read only we want this to be that we want this person to have access to this this thing doesn't do that and it's just basically just fixing those things and yeah we have a lot of those tickets um, it's like a never-ending thing and they all what happens is the scientists will enter all and this is a part of the agile system too is that they um, enter the help ticket and it goes into our backlog and so um, the software engineers on the team they just go in and we just pick and choose like what we want to work on which is really cool you don't get assigned anything you just choose whatever you want to work on and then every um, every couple we we work in sprints so every couple weeks we'll have a retro where we um, discuss what we did during the last sprint and then we plan out what we're going to be doing in the upcoming sprint and we allocate like how much time it's going to take and blah 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 like if we have 30 man hours on the team then we'll only pick and choose um, the we'll outline how much each task how much time each task is going to take and then we'll pull from that list and say okay well this is what we're going to work on this is what we have the capacity for is what I'm trying to say so um so yeah so that's one half of my job the other half of my job is working on the brand new app that we came up with so because I'm a react developer um they really wanted to hone in on that skill set and put me on the brand spanking new shiny sparkling team which is really really cool and fun so I didn't think that I'd be creating a brand new app as a junior software engineer but um, I am I'm like creating brand new apps well a brand new app which is really cool and so um, with that we create our own little help tickets it's not a help ticket but we create our own little like task items well like the principal engineer does like he outlines everything that has to be done and then we just choose like okay I want to do this I want to do that I want to do this I want to do and it's broken up into like micro components which is really cool like it'll be like someone's doing the header someone's doing buttons someone's doing so it's it's not like oh build out this entire class or whatever like you just take little tiny things that each person does like um right now I'm working on an API and so um, that's really interesting because we didn't we worked with API's in school but not at the level of what I'm doing now so it's definitely um, taking a lot of time it, I mean I took a lot of time with my first task really because I know react but this this app is being built in TypeScript which is kind of like react but not really but if you know react it's easier to grasp it but it's definitely very different um so let's see so i think that's essentially it so i'm working on the legacy team where i'm patching up different problems and bugs on all of the old apps and then i'm um and what that just to give a couple examples and i'm 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 basically going into detail but not too much detail because like when I would watch these videos before it's like the people wouldn't give too much information and so I'm like tell me more but also I don't want to bore you guys so um, like one example of like a fix on an old app was okay they wanted to um, now create a comments feature on this portion of app and there's hundreds of web apps I mean that the scientists use for like a session examples and things like that 
And so another learning curve that I had was just learning the language. Like, I'm like, what does this stuff even mean? Like, it's a lot of acronyms. So I'm still learning all that stuff. Um, and yeah, and then just working on building the new app. And then we have our sprints. We have our retros. We have our daily stand-ups. I'm checking emails. Um, I'm actually working on something right now outside of both of those things where there's this bi-weekly task that I, um, me being like the brand new person, I get, I get thrown this task every, like every time there's a new junior dev on the team, it's like, okay, well you get this task and it's something that should be automated. And so my boss was like, you need to write a program for this. And I'm like, Okay, all right, so I'm gonna have to. I'm trying to figure out C sharp because I need to figure out how to read and write um, Excel files um, and put them into the database into SQL. So that's something else I'm doing outside of that. And I think that's it. I normally wrap up around five o'clock, I pump a couple times out the day. I'll wrap up around five o'clock, pack my things, and I head out. Um, so I hope that was enough information for you guys and not way too much or way too little. Please let me know if you have any, um, any questions in the comments. I respond to all of my comments. Um, let me know if, uh, if you have any, anything. Um, you can add me on Instagram and DM me there. Um, I just want to help y'all out. So thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you're having a great day and you have a great night. Bye.